Hello, hello everyone. One of the questions I am most often asked is how many shrimp should I get to start a new shrimp colony? Well, my personal recommendation is that you really should get at least 10 shrimp to start your shrimp colony. If you can get more, if you can afford to get more, then even better. So now that we have the big question answered right off from the very beginning, let's spend the rest of the video explaining why you should have at least 10 shrimp to start your new shrimp colony. Well, reason number one is new shrimp die. I mean, it sucks, but that's just the way it is. New shrimp die. Now, I'm not saying you should always expect shrimp losses when you get new shrimp. But something you must understand is that shrimp are fairly sensitive little critters, especially when compared to most of the popular fish available in the hobby today. Shrimp are sensitive to differences in water parameters, much more so than the common fish that we just mentioned. First thing to know about shrimp is that shrimp have exoskeletons. This means that when they grow, they must shed their old exoskeleton for a new, bigger one. That's how all shrimp grow. Shrimp inside gets bigger, the exoskeleton can't hold it anymore, and so it splits open and a new, new exoskeleton forms. More times than not, what causes the shrimp to die, to die is a failed molt. The bigger, the older and bigger a shrimp gets, the more difficult the molting process is for a shrimp. Water parameter changes will cause shrimp to molt. Remember, anytime a shrimp molts, it is at risk of that molt failing. And if a shrimp fails the molt, it is always certain death. And that is what we call a failed molt. Other than growing bigger and needing a new exoskeleton, the biggest trigger to cause a shrimp to molt is changes in water parameters. So now, like, so now we know the leading cause of death in, in shrimp is a failed molt, and that changes in water parameters can cause shrimp to molt prematurely. Hopefully that makes sense that it is not out of the ordinary to lose a few shrimp when you first get them. Also, I also mentioned that the bigger the shrimp, the harder it is for it to molt, which is why many people prefer to send smaller juvenile shrimp because they can adjust easier than fully adult grown shrimp. So let's summarize everything I just said there. The leading cause of death in shrimp is failed molts. New and different water parameters cause shrimp to molt prematurely. This means if you have lots of shrimp being thrown into premature molts, there stands to be a pretty good chance that some will not make it. Especially the larger fully grown shrimp as molting is harder on the fully grown shrimp than it is with the smaller juveniles. So, so what can we do to help eliminate our new shrimp dying? The most important thing we do when we get new shrimp is to slowly acclimate them to their new water parameters. Most people refer to this as drip acclimating. Basically, what you're doing when you acclimate shrimp is you put them in a container with the water they came in and slowly, over the course of a couple to several hours, slowly add in the new water they will be living in. Most people set up a drip setup with airline tubing, but that's not necessary. I use a shot glass to periodically add new water every 10 minutes or so over the course of two or three hours. I will include a link to my drip acclimate <laughs> acclimation that's a hard word to say sometimes i'll include a link to my drip acclimation video in the pro in the description i send a link of how to acclimate new shrimp to everyone who purchases shrimp, shrimp from me because acclimating your new shrimp is extremely important also keep in mind that when you drip acclimate the shrimp are still going through a lot of stress and and will still more than times not molt even if you do it nice and slow they're still probably going to molt if there's a big difference but slowly easing them into their new water parameters will make the transition much, much easier. Now I'm going to share my personal experiences from when I first got into the shrimp part of the hobby. The first two or three orders of shrimp I purchased, I did not take the acclimation. There it is again, acclimation process seriously. And I lost a good amount of shrimp. My first couple orders of shrimp were either plop and drop with zero acclimating or very short, like less than an hour of acclimation. I was lucky because I was getting homebred shrimp from someone who had similar water parameters and I still lost about 30%. So that means out of my first orders of shrimp, 
around three out of every 10 died. And that number would have been much, much higher had the shrimp not been coming from water that was already pretty similar to my own water. Then I got a little better and was losing 10 or 20% of my shrimp in the first three or four days. That's usually when you'll lose them is the first, first couple days. After five or six shrimp purchases, I finally figured out just how important acclimating new shrimp was and started doing it the right way and have since lost very few new shrimp since. So don't make the same mistakes I did. I remember when I first got shrimp thinking, oh, I've been keeping fish my entire life and never did any of this silly acclimation stuff and everything was always fine. But what I didn't realize then was just how sensitive shrimp are to water parameter changes when compared to the fish I've been keeping my entire life. So don't be like me. Do the acclimation process fully and completely from your very first time. Trust me, it is very important. It really is important. And keep in mind, just because you do everything correctly doesn't mean you'll always have 100% success. Shrimp changing water parameters is always risky, no matter how careful you are. So get at least 10 to make sure you can afford to lose a couple, just in case, just in case. So, more shrimp make more shrimp. That's the next I'm going to talk about. We buy shrimp to hopefully someday have a big successful colony with lots and lots of shrimp. At least that is why I always bought new shrimp in the past. So now we know that sometimes new shrimp just die, even if we do everything as good as we possibly can. This is why I say we should get at least 10 shrimp to make sure we have enough males and females, just in case we do lose a few. Most reputable shrimp sellers will do their best to send a good mix of males and females. But back to the young shrimp ship better and adapt to new water parameters thing. Many sellers will be sending mostly young, possibly unsexable juveniles. So you want to make sure you get enough in case you get really young shrimp and you're not sexable. You get enough, you're going to have a better chance of having them grow up into being males and females. As a shrimp seller, I personally always try to send a good mix of young and adult shrimp and then a good mix of males and females. For one, many people new to shrimp do not realize getting young shrimp is a good thing and some take issue with it. But I find sending a good mix to buyers gives them the best chance of having quick initial, quick initial success with some adults and long-term success with the younger juvenile shrimp. So if some of the adults, they do good and breed and get, get success right off the get-go, and if the young, if there's a little bit of a problem there and the older ones struggle, but then the younger ones can adapt and end up growing up and being good. Those are the reasons I say at least 10 to start a new shrimp colony. Another factor to keep in mind is what tank you're putting your shrimp in, what size tank you're getting, and what is the purpose of this shrimp tank? If it's just a little two gallon desktop tank for personal enjoyment, then 10 would be enough. If you're putting them in a 20 gallon tank or bigger and you're trying to breed for profit, then as many as you can afford to get. If you're tossing them into a community tank with fish, you better get enough to cover all the ones that get ate. So it may, if you're throwing them in a community tank with fish, you may need more than 10 in that scenario. And if it's even possible, that depends on the type of shrimp and the fish and, or not really, that, not so much the shrimp, but it depends on the fish you have how predatory they are and how many hiding spaces you have if you can even get shrimp to work in your community tank. Keep in mind, 10 is just a minimum in my opinion. I know, I know, shrimp are expensive and many of you may be thinking this guy's just trying to sell more shrimp. <laughs> no. But remember, every single one of my colonies was started with me buying 10 to 15 shrimp all those years ago. When I was starting all these tanks, money was tight and it was all I could afford. But this is why I say if you can get more than 10, then great. More shrimp make more shrimp quicker than less shrimp make more shrimp. That makes any sense. So for me, when I start a new, so for me, when I start new colonies, I'll use anywhere from 30 to 100 shrimp if possible, because my purpose is to breed these shrimp for profit. So my end goal is to make as many good shrimp as I possibly can. So remember, I spend a big portion of almost every day helping people with their shrimp, and it's been a dream come true. This is something I get asked many, many times, so I want to do a video with my explanation of why you should have at least 10 shrimp to start a new colony with. 
I get lots of people asking me to buy trios of shrimp or can I have, but if I get five, will you send me four females and one? When it comes to 10 buck or less Neo Caradina shrimp, that's just not the way it's approached. And especially if you are factoring shipping fees into it. Because I mean, $15 to ship three shrimp, I mean, come on. I mean, if something goes wrong, which if you're only getting three shrimp, if you only ordered a trio of shrimp, something's gonna go, if something goes wrong, you're more than likely not gonna have a good time. In my opinion, start a new colony, you're gonna have the best chance of success by starting with at least 10 shrimp. If you can get more, that is even better. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.